Attendance at Assembly Hall may be down this year. After all, tonight's crowd was only 13,129, but there is no question that playing in this environment certainly gives Indiana the energy and emotion to compete. It was awesome. This crowd support and uh, the energy inside the building, it was, it was tremendous. And uh, our guys fed off of that. I thought they played with great energy. It makes us thrive more to be to help each other. I feel like the crowd gave us a little boost tonight. And I thought in the second half we lost our composure, which you can't do. And uh, obviously it's a credit to this building. It's a tough environment to play in. Now another time where the Hoosiers were able to capitalize off energy was right before time expired in the second half as Malik Story knocked down a deep three-pointer from right about here to put the Hoosiers up by four. This sent them into the locker room on a high note and undoubtedly set the tone for the second half. I just wanted to get the ball off. So I just, when I was there, I didn't know where I was on the court. I just shot the ball and just went in, so I'm glad that happened. They were buzzing when they got to the locker room because, I mean, it's momentum. And to get that shot and have the electricity of the crowd take off the way that it did when they were running in the locker room, you can ask them, but I, I think they were, they were really buzzing with it. They were excited. On Saturday, the Hoosiers will have to get their energy from somewhere other than the crowd as they travel to one of the most hostile environments in the nation, Rupp Arena, to take on rival Kentucky. Reporting from Assembly Hall, I'm Casey Richards, Hoosier Sportsline.